Welcome back. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, why is it appropriate for the president, as he did yesterday, to call a local election official who's involved in the certification of an election? And more generally, what is the end game here for the president? When these states certify their results, uh, do you accept that this election will be over? Um, I don't know who the president called, but the president is an American citizen. He can find out any facts that are going on. I know a number of members who call their um, election officials, ask how many votes are left, when's the count going to take place, are they provisional ballots, how many are within my district. We're still counting a number of congressional districts that are still out there that have not been called yet. Um, yes, at the end of the day, when every legal vote is counted, when every recount is finished, and every legal challenge is heard, yeah, people will accept what the results are. Yes, sir. Would you, would you support any effort to delay certification by the states so that Republican legislatures could name their own electors to the Electoral College regardless of how popular vote turned out? I think I'm clear on all of that. I think every legal vote should be counted, every recount should be finished, and every legal challenge should be heard, and the states should finish their work. So there should, go rogue, there should be rogue electoral electors. No, they finish their work. Yeah. Do you have it? Have you had a single conversation about COVID relief in any substantive manner in the last couple of days? With who? With anybody, anybody who is empowered to make a deal. Uh, well, in the House, I serve in the House. It'd be the Speaker of the House. No. Have you talked to McConnell? Have you talked to the White I've House? I've talked to McConnell. Yes, and I've talked to the White House. And yes. What's the, and could you give us a sense of where things are going? Well, the things are still We're at the same place. The There's one roadblock. There's one big wall that has stopped this the entire time, and it's Speaker Pelosi. Um, I would think after the politics that she played and the election being over, that she now put the American public first. She still seems to be in the same position. But the good news is you have 23 Democrats who put their name to a letter back in September who said, if you did not do your job, Speaker Pelosi, we would sign the discharge petition. So now if they keep their word, if their word is true and the letter is right, we can get at least PPP relief going. Yes. All of this.